Hi everyone, this is Aaron from These Are My Stamps, and in this video we're going to go through the Link Generator option. The Link Generator option can be found underneath our Tools menu, and then to Link Generator. And within the Link Generator we have two options. There's the List option and the Single Link option. Before we go through both of these options, I want to bring your attention to the bookmarklet. We'll go through this at the end of the video, but the reason why I want to bring this to your attention is everything I'm going to show you with the list and the single link option can be done directly on your website without coming to the These Are My Stamps website uh, through the bookmarklet, and you can generate all the same links directly on your web, web page or Facebook or whichever website you're on. So starting with the single link, uh, the single link option is a really good option for emails, uh, for, for sending somebody an email with a, with a link to your store, uh, for putting it on Facebook, for putting it on Twitter. Um, if you just want to highlight a product on your blog, um, you can do this. You, you can get the single link and, and, and create a link for it easily. And you just type in the words that uh, the, the product that you're looking for, and we will give you two links. Uh, we'll give you the full URL right to your demo store, and we'll also give you a bit.ly link, which is just a shortened version of this exact same URL. So if you're posting this on Twitter or any place else where you don't want to have, you know, show all of this stuff right within the link, you can give them a shortened URL and it works exactly the same way. Going to the list option, uh, the list option is really good for blogs uh, to show a, a list of products. And all you have to do is you type in the product name. And there's a few things I want to bring to your attention here. Um, the first thing is, is you can type in the words in any order that you want. It's not specific to that, but the more words you have that are within the product name, the higher up in the list it will go. Uh, you, I don't know if you noticed here, but the special characters, you don't need to type in any special characters. It should recognize uh, the special characters and, and, and convert them accordingly and find the product for you. Um, you could also search by the product name or number if you wanted to, the item number if you wanted to, and that would also find the search results. And the last thing I'm going to show you is if, if you don't want to use your mouse to add a list of products, uh, just searching for the product and starting to use your arrow keys to select the product will work. And you can type in a dozen products without your hands ever leaving the keyboard. And the way that works is once you've, once you've selected your product here using the arrow keys, hit return once and that will select the product from the list and if you hit return again that will add the product to your list and then the iBeam here goes right back to the supply name and you can start typing in your next product so you can very quickly get uh, a, a dozen products uh, within your list for the products list once you have them uh, if you didn't type them in a specific order, if you want to order them in a, in a specific order, just click on the arrow icon and you can move them up or down however you want. Uh, if you added the product and you no longer want it, you can hit the X button. If you want to clear all the supplies, you can hit the clear supplies link here and that will clear all of your supplies for you. And the product category, if, if the product category isn't what you expected it to be or what you want it to be, uh, all you have to do is you have to click on the product category name and you can change this product category to whatever you want. This will be specific to your account and once you have it changed, it will save it to this product for future use. So anytime you search for this product later on, it will keep the same product category that you had set it to previously. So a lot of our default product categories are stamp. So if you see it in stamp, that's probably going to be the, the mistaken product category. Uh, we do try to get all the product categories updated, though. In the format links option, there are four different options. There's the text list option, uh, the image list option, the hybrid list option, and the YouTube list. Uh, starting with the text list option, if you just want your product list in the same order that you had that you typed in and above, that's the option for you. You hit generate list and you'll get your, your options below. Uh, if you want them in a little bit different format, we have both vertical and horizontal categories. So this just breaks them out into their categories for horizontal categories. And if you like that format on your blog, that's a great minimal way to show everybody your products that you used uh, without taking up too much space. 
We also have the optional uh, including the product number and the product price within the description. So if you just click those on and off, uh, it'll in generate your code. It will update your product list. The image list is really good if you want to show everybody the images that used uh, for your for your products. Starting with the products per row, I would suggest the auto option, but you can force it to do any number of products per row that you want. Uh, the auto option will automatically adjust the number of products that fit across uh, your blog post depending on the size of your page. So as uh, your you know, if you have a wide blog, you might have more products. If it, if it goes to smaller, um, it'll it'll shrink it and it will wrap all the products around automatically. So instead of showing uh, six products, we could have maybe three, four, or maybe they show all of them if your if your blog is really wide. Um, the product size, we have a few different options for the product size. Uh, you can include the border or uh, center the whole table on your page if you want. And again, we have the same product options of including the number, the name, the price on here, uh, which shows up down underneath your product list. The visual pieces, uh, this is more specific to your blog on how this is going to look. So if you have a background on your blog that's a color, say it's purple, and I choose transparent, the background on the product list will also be purple. You'll see the purple show through from your blog, and then you'll just see the pictures. If you choose white, the whole box will become white, and you won't see the background of your blog, but you'll see the background outside of the box. Dark gray for the font color, or use your blog's color. So again, if you have a default text on your blog to be purple, uh, all of your texts, all of your links in, in, in the text to your pictures could be purple if you wanted them to be purple. But if you want them to, if you want them to be all gray, um, we have that so they'll look more like this, uh, if, if that's what you'd prefer. And then we have uh, changes in the description size and price size if you want to make these bigger or smaller on your blog. So this is the image list option. Moving on to the hybrid list option. This is a really good option if you don't want images for everything, but you want to focus on specific things. So if we want to focus on the stamp sets that we put in our, in our post here, we can, we can choose the stamp option, and we can see all the stamp sets that are used here. And then we can see all the other products that were used, but we won't show the images of them. So it's a really good way to just highlight what you want your customers to focus on while still giving them all the details of all the other products that you used for a particular card. And again, we have the same options as the image list uh, for the description and the visual piece. The YouTube list is really good for if you, if you create YouTube videos. Uh, within the description of the YouTube video, you can put links in your YouTube video and this just gives them in the format that YouTube would want so that your customers not only see the products that you used within your video, but also gives them a link that they can use to buy those, that product from your store uh, underneath your video in the description if, if you so choose. And again, with the text list, op text list option, we have the product number and the price as optional if you want to show those or not show those down below here. So those are all the, all the options for the link generator. Uh, once you have figured out what, what you want to do for your uh, links, all you do is you go down to the HTML here, the copy, copy this, um, and if you copy this, you can go over to your blog, and this is a, a, a TAMS blog, but this works exactly the same on WordPress or um, Blogspot or TypePad. Uh, most, all, all those have an option where you're looking for source. Um, I think WordPress is called text uh, versus visual, but you're looking for an option like this to where you can paste in the code and whenever you go back to the visual option, it, you'll see all the pictures um, or the product list or whatever, however you generated it right within your blog. And then at that point, you can start typing in you know, and, and do the rest of your blog post. Um, you could also do this after the fact. Uh, either, either way works, um, so whichever way you're most comfortable in. So and that's how you get the pictures to your blog. Now, uh, for the bookmarklet. Uh, the bookmarklet 
all you do to get this to work is you drag this up to your toolbar uh, within your web browser. Um, you can't really see mine. I apologize for that. Uh, but it's right underneath where, where I type in the URL is where I have all my links. Um, and what that does is if I go back to my blog and I click on, on, on my bookmarklet now, I now have the link generator option right within my blog page. So again, this could be a WordPress blog, this could be a TypePad blog, it doesn't matter what's behind here. Um, but this will show up, and this is a really easy way. So if I'm on Facebook and I need the product uh, URL, I can just click on that without going directly to these are my stamps, and I can find the link, and I can copy it, and I can then close my window, and I can be right back on Facebook and, and paste my link in, uh, or back to if I just want to do this on my blog, I can get all the same visual links with my blog here. I can get my whole image list and do all of my image options. And back to, this is the auto option showing how this works here is whenever it's smaller, I have three product rows, um, which is why I show three. But whenever I paste it in here, whenever I paste it in my blog, it fits the width of my blog. So, um, but that's, so that's the generate links option. That's the, the, the bookmarklet option. Uh, within the link generator. So you go to the very bottom, you copy the HTML and close the window and you're on to finish your blog post or Facebook post or Pinterest or whatever you want to do next. So there you have it. That is the link generator option by These Are My Stamps. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. And if you have any questions, just let us know. Thank you very much.